Good morning. Um, today, May 4th, we got to go do some business headlines. Um, as we are going to try some um, other services that actually helps us in the purpose of going to business headlines. Uh, as we go to Google News, um, Elon Musk is in the news again. Um, he is the head of Tesla. Uh, chairman of Solar City and also the CEO of SpaceX. Um, well, th these are question mark um, headlines, but the intent is to uh, show that he handles a lot of stuff. Um, with the Tesla Model 3 coming out, th that's pretty exciting. Um, that's uh, about $35,000. Um, car, um, which is uh, around 42 with options included. It shows uh, Wall Time Warner's first quarter uh, exceed Wall Street estimates. Um, a lot of good movies coming out, of course, um, such as Batman vs. Superman. Um, well, we still don't understand how Superman gets his propulsion. Um, it's just like uh, as is. So a lot of fans got, you know, nowadays um, look for reasons um, as into propulsion and the source of power and like that. Um, so Superman is a hero of another time when nobody knows about much about science or technology. So that's about that. Um, Priceline, as you know, um, the CEO um, quit due to personal affairs. Um, so today is going to be um, interesting for Priceline. So Yeah, Adobe is a pretty exciting company. Um, they switched their model from a uh, super huge amount of money for their software, uh, CS6, to subscription base. So if you use it for a long time, you basically pay the same amount, um, and even more because it's subscription base. But that's good news for Adobe because they um, can't have predictable um, income. So, um, so we see NBC it shows like uh, the job futures is dropping. We got to go to Asia. As you can see, Nikkei dropped another five hundred points. Uh, Shanghai sticking around three thousand. And Hang Seng is uh, 20,500, dropping 151 points. Um, of course, um, the slowing economy um, of the, um, in Asia, you know, both uh, India and China and Japan, uh, of, the, of the slowing economy is affecting everybody. Uh, where the U.S. Uh, shows that, you know, productivity is down 1%. But the expected was a 1.4 percent. So we see, you know, this uh, applet is not very good. Um, so the euro is um, on 1.15. Uh, JPY is 106 and. Great pounds 1.45. Go to Yahoo Finance. So go crude oil is around 43.84. Go is like 
Apple is around 95.18 right now. Um, as I mentioned again, it's a no loss scenario where they were at this price before the controversy about unlocking iPhones for the government. Facebook encountered um, um, a shutdown in Brazil um, over so many things. Um, it's at 117 right now. Um, a little bit frothy, of course. Um, you know, uh, commentary on Facebook is that um, it's solely based on the content of the people that use it. Uh, if people don't use it, feeling that is uh you know not as cool as it used to be or some other reason um the whole business is just um dependent on that um so uh still right now um a lot of um real and unreal people use it <laughs> um so social media is just a uh, um you need to know. All right, Stephen Cohen, the uh, uh, hedge fund uh, manager of Point Seventy Two, or formerly Sac Capital. In the bank news, let's go to business. Yeah, U.S. auto sales was pretty good, um, primarily due to the low lower gas prices. Uh, due to lower gas prices, usually promote people to you know get cars, uh, even bigger cars, to drive because the fuel is cheaper. As you know, the slow economy in Asia, India, China, and Japan uh, have affected, you know, probably the United States economy as well, only rising, expanding 0.3% for the first three quarters. I will talk about the yuan or the renminbi. Um, the pressure since the slow economy is to push it up, um, like uh, weaken against the U.S. dollar. Um, so far, the government has been uh, steadfast in maintaining stability in the yuan trading. Um, I would imagine it's a slow, slow pace um, devaluing, uh, because they do need to protect. Um, what they need to protect. Yeah, in my opinion, uh, this format is a little bit more neutral um, and I'm biased for, uh, for um, less I'm biased and because of the curations in other publications. Um, this is a little bit more business news oriented where you, all the headlines is a business base. So I've been using um, today uh, Bing News, um, Google News uh, on the topic of business. Let's go into technology and see what we can see. Yeah, self-driving may be the thing. Um, but the great challenge is uh, self-driving is not at all scenario where you need to have a uh, like perfect road conditions where the markings of the road are, uh, are right there. If the markings are off or anything unusually happens that you know regular drivers can handle by using common sense, 
um, that's good but when you encounter roads that have like strange conditions due to wear and tear um, you may introduce problems problem hotspots for self-driving so right now is uh, basically for highways or in, and very slow driving in in, uh, uh, in houses and urban areas um, MacBooks um, it's always talking about speed um, which is like you know do you use a hundred percent of your MacBook CPU constantly um, most people know um, they just open a few programs and use like you know very few CPUs so comparing CPU speed usage um, between one year to another it's just like uh, not that legitimate in terms of telling people uh, with the quality of the MacBook uh, which should be you know the ability to um, retrofit the components yourself to have hot better memories uh, bigger hard drives but a lot of them now are like soldered in so um, it's soldered in they should have you know forcing people to um, buy models based on initial specs Yeah, so solar acquisition by Microsoft is interesting. Um, um, if you talk about IoT, it's consumer IoT um, for solar. I can I, mean, I can imagine you can manage your solar panels using your app, um, using an app on your iPhone or, or Android phone. Um, yeah, just like monitoring other household items. But you, you use it first, not me. Um, because you know it's not uh, as expansion of uh, mobile services the safety of these apps are uh, in question if you follow the news about security yeah one thing about Android releases um, most people realize that um, Android, Android is open source so a lot of vulnerabilities are not fixed or not even revealed now um, so Android phones are uh, basically for people that doesn't care about security. Yeah, the Mac Apple conference coming up, so that's pretty interesting. So all in all, these are the headlines for today, May 4th. Um, so we took a little switch to other formats of the news. So it's working out pretty good, and maybe we stick to it. Alright, so today's May 4th, 2016, Wednesday. Thanks a lot.